after all the Unity fee issue finished, a bunch of people have been trying out Goodot. And well, today I will be explaining why I think Goodot is the perfect engine now. Yeah, because now Unity is one of the most untrusted engines, so Goodot, thanks of its open source nature, have become a nice option for developers. Let's discover why Goodot is the perfect engine for you right now. Firstly, in order for you to understand completely what is this all about, let's give a little bit of context. A couple of weeks ago, Unity announced changes in its business model introducing an installation fee. Basically, every time a user downloads a game, the developer would be charged 20 cents. But what would happen if a user deletes and installs over and over again the game? What about pirated games? They basically said that they have everything under control thanks to their system, which, well, they didn't give much details. Mmm, I don't know, buddy. Of course, the community was furious, a lot of questions emerged, and the trust went drastically down. Also, the fact that they announced this change suddenly even affecting previously creating games and the possibility of them at any time increasing the fee contributed to the community losing their trust. Things even got worse when they tweeted that they were sorry because of the confusion that was about the topic. Um, sorry? Which seems to be the confusion here? Well, a couple of days ago, they said that they listed the community, that they listened to the community and released an open letter to the community announcing that they will be reverting the changes and modifying everything. They even enabled the possibility of disabling the Unity Boot Splash in the free version of the engine, quite nice actually. But well, the damage and the loss of trust was still there. This caused a lot of developers migrating from Unity to other engines. Some migrated to Unreal thanks to its amazing power being the most powerful engine in the market, and others migrated to Goodot, a free and open source game engine. The thing is that Unity lost all trust which caused developers changing the engine they use. Now I'd like to tell you that if you wanna start in Goodout, definitely the best place to do so is my full Goodout course for free. In this course you'll learn how to create this simple game. You will learn a bunch of concepts you will use forever in game development. If you have some hands-on experience in Goodot, you can check the second course about Goodot, in which we create this second, this 2D game, a little bit more complex. As you can see, both courses were loved by Goodot developers, so definitely you should, you should check them out, link in the description down below. Both courses can be followed with either a mobile or a PC. Goodjot can be even run in a mobile, so there is no excuse to start learning game development. Check them out in the description down below. Well, now, why Goodjot is the perfect engine? There are plenty of reasons and I could be talking all day with you about this. But related to all this Unity fee topic, definitely the most important reason why I believe Goodjot is the perfect engine right now is because it's open source. Unity demonstrated how sometimes companies, when they have a low amount of money or wanna earn more or whatever, are willing to implement fees in order to overcome the situation. The thing with that is that if you have ongoing projects, you must accept their new policies, if not, you wouldn't be able to continue using the engine. They even sometimes implement these policies suddenly as it happened in Unity. I don't wanna generalize though, but I believe this Unity issue was like an eye-opener to the community. It made us think about if relying completely on companies when it comes to game engines is worth or not. Anyway, I hope you now have a better understanding of Goodjot and the Unity fee problematic. Remember that if you wanna learn Goodjot, you have my two full courses which were allowed by the community. You can check them out in the description down below. Goodjot can be even used in your phone, so there is no excuse. Leave me your opinion about this topic in the description down below, subscribe for more content and bye bye.